Go ahead. Who wants to start? First off, what do you guys think of the news? Uh, difficult. Uh, Gio has been the, the coach for six years, six seasons, and uh, I mean to part way with them, with him uh, in this way is, is really bad, I think. Um, I think as a player, we can support him with the results. And then now, uh, for me, I wish the best uh, for Gio, and then now we, we need to try to change this situation, get him a better result. We're going to go with English first and then Spanish, just so you know, so all the English questions now. Well, for me, the same, of course, it's a very sad day. We talked with Gio yesterday also before the, the news, and, and I always be thankful, thankful with him and the family. Uh, we passed through many things here. It was a long time, six years. Uh, he deserved the credit. He deserved the respect for all of the successful. He did a lot for this team, for this club, and we had to be also responsible for, for this moment. Uh, we are the player. Uh, the last year and a half it wasn't easy, and we had to do more. And unfortunately, she got paid for for everything. But something happened in the football, you know. But we are responsible a lot for this moment. Um, we are here because we had to put the face, and but also we had to say thank you to Shio, wish the best, and because also he helped me a lot here in this team and, and in my family in my first years. Um, six, six years is not easy, and so for us it's a, a difficult day. I'm very sad, but of course we deserve. Uh, we wish for him the best. Any other questions in English? Yeah. How, how do you um, see things for both of you? How do you see things going forward now for the rest of the season? Uh, I think again it's going to be difficult, but. Uh, we need to change the situation. It's not going to be easy. I think it's going to ask a lot of, uh, from the players, you know, on the field. I think we have uh, a lot of talent, but we need to show it. I think uh, the last result, it was really bad, you know, to concede five goals, you know, three goals in 50 minutes is not enough from our part. And uh, hopefully uh, we can understand the situation and try to change it. For me to say, of course, uh, we have only 10 games left and very difficult games, three games in, in the next week. And we had to to be uh, professional and forget for this moment a little bit that put the best on the field. Uh, we had to be more professional uh, and we need also uh, the player more commitment uh, with this club, with this team. Uh, we had to understand all that we had to play these years. Uh, we had to make the playoff, of course, it wasn't easy. Uh, but uh, all the people who work for Team Better Serve or Best, uh, we had to do. And then I just have one more. Um, offensively, do you guys have any idea what you think the situation might be? Like, um, there's so few goals. I mean, it's hard. Uh, what I can say is uh, everyone has to do more, you know, uh, in defense or in attacking, you know. We need to figure out how to uh, do better things on the field. We have time for two more questions. We'll go in Spanish. Una para cada uno. Diego, eh, absolutamente de resultados, ¿crees que tuvo que ver la decisión? ¿O ustedes creen que hay más detalles aparte de simplemente los resultados? Eh, yo pienso que fue más resultados. En, en el último año y medio, como dijo Sebastián, hemos tenido eh, muchas situaciones donde no hemos podido ganar dos, tres partidos seguidos. Y yo creo que eso es una gran parte de, de la decisión. Eh, de acuerdo con Sebastián, creo que parte de nosotros como jugadores tenemos que dar más, responder más en el campo. Bueno, esperemos de que lo podamos hacer en, este final, en esta parte final del, del, del campeonato. Sí. Sebas, eh, Chido se preocupó mucho siempre, o por lo menos era lo que siempre eh, insistía mucho en el, en el entorno, en el ambiente, en el grupo. En, um, afuera puede haber la, la idea de que en algún momento él perdió el camerino. 
Bueno, no, no lo sé, yo no, no puedo hablar de cosas que no, no, realmente no lo sé. Sí es cierto que durante todo este tiempo, o por lo menos este año y medio, han habido muchos cambios en el club, eh, muchos golpes que hemos tenido que, que superar y, y obviamente el equipo ha cambiado de nombres muy rápidamente y, y nos hemos llenado de, de gente que está conociendo el lugar, la liga, que, que, que son jóvenes todavía, que tienen mucho por aprender. Eh, y bueno, eso a veces conlleva a que no todos toman eh, el fútbol y los problemas de la misma manera. Quizás antes tenías un equipo donde, más allá de todos los problemas, se olvidaba dentro de la cancha. Y nosotros estamos acá poniendo la cara, pero hablando por todo el equipo. Eh, tenemos que hacernos responsables en este momento, tenemos que ser maduros y decir esta es nuestra culpa también y, y olvidarnos de nuestros problemas fuera de la cancha y dar lo mejor adentro. Tenemos que entender que si nos va mal individualmente, nos va mal como grupo y no nos ayuda en nada pensando en el futuro. All right, we'll wrap it there. Thank you. Thank you.